You also said that people are used to being surveyed um, quite casually, and I think there's a very big difference between people being surveyed and people being uh, wrongly identified, as have happened yes. with some facial recognition. Um, and what we're doing to our judicial system, which you just said you take really seriously, is that you're turning innocent people into guilty people, where they're now having to prove that they're not the person that they've been identified through facial recognition. What are your views around that? I have seen that in other jurisdictions. There's a, a book that's just come out um, called Your Face Belongs to Us uh, by New York Times journalist Kashmir Hill, which looks at um, a number of facial recognition technologies and identifies instances where people have been wrongly identified and have been detained as a result. I'm not aware <coughs> of specific instances of that happening in the UK, of people being misidentified and detained as aware. a result. I'm, I'm not. I, I thought you said you'd been in communication with Big Brother Watch. They have a whole document on that. Uh, as I said, I'm not aware of instances where um, the technology has resulted in people being misidentified. And wow. OK, that's come as a really big surprise, because even in our evidence that we've, yeah, as a committee, we've, that has been highlighted. But, so I'm actually really quite flabbergasted at that.